Woman with kidney stones goes to ER, has difficult time believing doctor when he says she's in labor. If you've ever had kidney stones or a kidney infection, you'll be familiar with the symptoms. Abdominal cramps, back pain, pain when peeing. That's exactly what Stephanie Jagers was experiencing. Kidney stones can be pretty serious if they're left untreated. So Stephanie headed to her local hospital, Piedmont Henry Hospital in Stockbridge, GA, for a checkup. Hospital staff post the question they always ask their female patients. Was there any way that Stephanie could be pregnant? Certainly not. Stephanie was 37 and her family was complete. Or so she thought. The doctor who treated Stephanie must have had his suspicions because he arranged for her to have an ultrasound. And it confirmed the truth. Stephanie was 38 weeks pregnant. Speaking to Fox 5 Atlanta, Stephanie recalled the moment she'd realized she'd been carrying a baby and was now ready to give birth. She said, In my mind, I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm going to have to tell this man again that there's no baby in there. But the ultrasound didn't lie. Stephanie hardly had time to get her head around the fact that she was pregnant before she was preparing to deliver her son. Stephanie, like many other women who have had babies, had always scoffed at the stories of moms who didn't know they were pregnant. But she too became one of those moms herself. And apparently, there was a reason why she hadn't realized. He was a breach and he was sitting, and he was sitting, his little feet were up by his head, so he couldn't wiggle, he couldn't move, and the doctor said, you know, that's why you couldn't feel him. To add to that, Stephanie had no symptoms and had even been diagnosed with early menopause. She hadn't had morning sickness or breast tenderness, she'd gained only a few pounds over the last months, and her stomach was only bulging a little. As if that wasn't enough, she was also on her period that very day. It must have been a huge shock to have discovered that she was still fertile and, in fact, pregnant and about to give birth. But Stephanie said she believes that everything happens for a reason, adding, He wasn't on the cards, he was not in the plans, but he was meant to be here for a reason. Maybe one day I'll understand, but, you know, he is a sweetheart. I'm glad he's here. I wouldn't change it at all. Imagine heading to the hospital suspecting kidney stones and leaving with a newborn baby. Stephanie and her husband suddenly had to make arrangements faster than they ever had before, as parenthood was supposedly never going to happen to them again. The old baby toys and clothes had long ago been donated to friends and family. Sean Jude Jagers, weighing 7 pounds and at 19 inches long, ironically came out the healthiest of Stephanie's four children. The parents only had a basket of clothes offered by the hospital for their unexpected arrival. Though it might sound crazy, it really is possible for a woman to be carrying a baby throughout her pregnancy without even knowing she's pregnant, and the condition even has a name cryptic pregnancy. In a German study of data in 1995 and 1996, it was found that one in every 2,455 moms gave birth without realizing they were pregnant until labor. You can find out more about Baby Sean's unexpected arrival in this video. Please share this with your friends and family.